All right, folks, this is Gary, High Tech Redneck, coming at you with a, another how-to video. Now, this is AC Arc Welding 101, and uh, this is kind of going to be a good one because this is an actual repair on a piece of farm equipment. This isn't something set up just for the means of uh, an instructional deal. This is an actual, you know, we got to do it because it's screwed up type of fix. So, uh, without any further ado, man, let's go over and uh, check it out. <sighs> Okay, now, what we're doing here is uh, this jack on this trailer here, uh, you can see that it's pinned here, and it's pinned on the other side, but it's not pinned back here. Now, what ends up happening is uh, when I uh, unhook this trailer and I uh, spin the jack down and get it off whatever I'm using to pull it, if it's on any type of hill or anything, and it backs up it bends this jack this jack this jack bends forward and and it just bends down here so what I got to do is I've got to run a brace I've got to run a brace right here across okay and weld it I'm gonna weld it here and weld it on both sides okay now this is uh, about a 3 16 uh, piece of steel that's put on this jack from the factory and this is uh, just over an eighth of an inch piece of uh, bar stock that I'm using for a support now for AC welding purposes you don't want to weld on stuff too much thinner than this it's uh, the thinner the uh, stock you're using the more difficult it is because it wants to burn anyways uh, this video is is uh, perfect because what I've got here is just a little I've got a little uh, inexpensive 100 amp uh, Miller buzz box that uh, <clears throat> it's 110 volts okay you can plug it in in your apartment complex and weld bumpers up in your room <laughs> anyway uh, it's very inexpensive it's strictly AC straight polarity all right and that's all you need and for farm repairs this is what is fantastic man this is uh, this is how we get her done anyway uh, the first thing that we got to do to uh, prepare this trailer for a weld is we've got to grind a spot that we can put our um, our ground on for our welder. And so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, safety goggles on here. And what you hear buzzing down there is the uh, is the fan on my uh, on my welder and uh,
Okay, now we have cleaned that up. We have cleaned that up. So let's go ahead and uh, see if I can find a place to set the camera. And we're going to go ahead and uh, ground out this, uh, ground out our. Okay, this is the uh, this is the ground from the, uh, from the roller. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and put. Put our stock right here that we're going to weld. And uh, something that you want to keep in mind is that uh, whenever you're welding two pieces of metals together, whichever metal is thicker is where you want to concentrate the most of your heat on when you're melting your rod. Uh, because if you concentrate that heat on the on the uh, thinner metal, you're liable to burn a hole through it. I'm going to run grab a welding rod real quick. I'll be right back. That, uh, something else that's uh, very indispensable is an uh, electric welding helmet. Man, you get one for 50 bucks. And if you're going to do any welding at all, man, you really need one. Clamp this piece of stock here first. 